Let's find out how parotta and beef curry affects my blood sugar using my continuous glucose monitor. Now, parotta is a layered flatbread that is very popular in southern India, especially Kerala, where I'm from. And this is beef curry that goes along with it. Parotta and beef curry is such an iconic combo that it is an ultimate comfort food for so many people from Kerala. This delicious beef curry is 160 grams and it has 38 grams of fat, 5 grams of carbohydrates, and 29 grams of protein. This single parotta is 84 grams with 56 grams of carbohydrates, 12 grams of fat, and 5 grams of protein. In total, this dish has 61 grams of carbs, 50 grams of fat, and 34 grams of protein. Even though this dish is high in carbohydrates, it has a good mix of protein and fat, which means that the carbohydrates might get absorbed more slowly, which means I'm not expecting a huge spike in my blood sugar. But let's find out. A few hours have passed. Now let's take a look at the readings from my glucose monitor. Okay, this is interesting. Instead of one big spike, I had two smaller rises in my blood sugar. So the first spike happened within the first hour of eating and it was around 33 milligrams per deciliter and the second spike came much later after two and a half hours and that was around 36 milligrams per deciliter. This pattern is known as biphasic glucose response which means there were two separate insulin responses to my meal. The first rise was probably from the simple carbs from the parota and the second glucose spike was probably from the delayed digestion of the fat and protein. The extra protein and fat from the beef curry definitely helped slow things down. It helped my glucose spike from getting even worse. If I had eaten more parotas with the curry or eaten just a parota, the glucose spike would have been much higher. Also, keep in mind everybody's body reacts differently, so your blood sugar might react differently to this dish. Stay tuned for more.